Space is also a part of Boeing's business, but we don't often focus on it. Today we are, after its Starliner spacecraft failed on its first launch. Morgan Brennan is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It was a critical test Boeing hoped would end 2019 on a high note. Instead, a setback for its Starliner spacecraft. The Starliner itself, um, on its way to the International Space Station, uh, had a challenge. The unmanned launch took place just before daybreak at Cape Canaveral. And lift off the rise of Starliner and a new era in human spaceflight. And went according to plan. The trouble arose after Starliner separated from the upper stage of United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket, when an automated timer error prevented Starliner from reaching the orbit necessary to meet with a space station. In a statement, Boeing saying, quote, further root cause analysis is needed, and that, quote, the combined Boeing and NASA team now plan to work together to define test flight objectives for the remainder of the mission while preparing the Starliner landing. Boeing and NASA officials saying if humans had actually been on board, they would have been safe the whole time. And that the journey to the space station may have still continued as planned. Something NASA astronaut Nicole Mann, who will be on Starliner's first crewed flight, detailed. This vehicle is a new level of automation that we've never seen before. And so what we're really doing is we're testing that automation. And that's why you have test pilots on board, especially for these early missions. That's our job. That's what we're trained to do. Still, the setback in Boeing's defense space and security business coming during another tough week for the aerospace giant on the commercial side as it halted 737 MAX production. With the timeline for Starliner now set to slip even further, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says there's no doubt there will be financial impact. When there is a setback, obviously that can have a, a, you know, a, a feedback when it comes to um, maybe a provider not being able to, to win the next contract, whether it's NASA or some other commercial company that wants access to space for the value of microgravity. Um, so that's up to those commercial companies to figure out. Starliner is part of NASA's commercial crew program alongside SpaceX, which has one more safety test of its own before humans can ride in its Crew Dragon capsule. For SpaceX, the first manned flight is expected early next year. As for Starliner, it's unclear what the next steps will be, with a focus right now on bringing it back to Earth as soon as Sunday. It's not a failure. I would say it's certainly something that, um, that we wanted to see happen. Uh, but it's also true that um, we're, we test for a reason, uh, because we, we want to be able to, to learn these things that we need to learn so that when we do put humans on board, they can go and be safe. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.